Hello, my name is Brian DeWolf. I am the Dynamics 365 CRM Practice Director for Interdyne BMI. This is just a short video to walk you through some of the functionality of the Dynamics 365 for Outlook app. Uh, this is different than the old Dynamics 365 Outlook client, which requires an actual um, installation on each user's computer and, and requires the full version of Outlook. The app uh, is pushed out from the server and um, will work with either um, the full version of Outlook, the Outlook Web Access, which is what uh, we'll be demoing here today, um, and it also works on mobile versions of the app. So we've got a lot of flexibility there in, in how you can use this app, and it also does not require installation on a computer. Um, and the one caveat is you do need server-side synchronization between Dynamics 365 and Exchange in order to use this functionality. So we'll start with just a little walkthrough of the functionality, and then We'll show you some of the backend settings um, to show you how you can configure this. Um, so what we're looking at right here is just a uh, Outlook Web Access mailbox. Um, we are logged in as a CRM demo user for this demonstration. And I'll start by showing you in an email message. So here we have an email message. Um, this was just, as you can see here, the test message that was sent from CRM just to confirm functionality. Um, but when you have the Outlook app installed, what you will see is over here on the right, there's this little icon right here. Um, and this is the Dynamics 365 icon. So if you click on that icon, you will see this window or this pane that pops up here on the right hand side and this will give you your Dynamics 365 information. Uh, so you can see for this particular email this has already been tracked to CRM. This is tracked to our Jim Glenn sample contact record. Um, we can change that. If I click on change I can choose a different set regarding or I can just untrack it um, and unlink it from CRM. This is also a link here so I can click on the link and this will take me directly to that CRM contact record and you can see here that's going to load here and it's going to take me directly into that contact record. Um, let's go ahead and close that. Um, the one thing um, that I really like about the app versus the the old client as you can see here because this is tracked to Jim Glenn we see Jim Glenn's contact card here and I can um, you know see his information this is the standard contact card that's you know created from CRM so you can modify that and change which fields show up here um, but I can see Jim's uh, contact information uh, who the owner of the record is their title company name email address um, the one thing that I really like here is this little plus sign right here. I can very easily create a new task, appointment, or phone call regarded to this Jim Glenn contact record. So if this is an email that I get, I track it into CRM, and let's say I'm out on the road. Maybe I'm doing this from my mobile app. I have the ability to create a new task or maybe a phone call to remind me um, that I need to to contact this person um, regarding this email they sent. So if I go ahead and just click on phone call here, you can see this is going to bring up a new Dynamics 365 create phone call. Uh, I can go ahead and choose the priority. So we'll make this a high priority. I can give it a due date. Um, we'll say it's tomorrow at, we'll choose a time here, 11.15 a.m. I got the subject here, which comes from the email. Now I can change that. Um, all I have to do at this point, go ahead and click save. You do see I have an option here to open the record after saving. I'm not going to do that here. But I can go ahead and click save, and that tells me right here the new phone call was created successfully. So now inside of CRM, I have a phone call record that, that has been created that's going to remind me to follow up person. So that's uh, one of the really nice things, much easier to create uh, follow-ups and things like that using this new functionality. Um, if I go over here to my calendar. You can see today I have a customer visit. Um, I can go ahead and edit this and this is an appointment that I added into CRM and it synced over to Outlook. You can do the opposite. You can create a new um, appointment here in Outlook and um, you know, track it to CRM. Um, you can see right up here in this appointment is my Dynamics 365 icon. So I can click on that just like I did on the email, and this will go ahead and show me information, my CRM information for this appointment. So this appointment is regarding the Adatum Corporation. Again, see the information, the key information for that account. Also have the ability to create a task, an appointment, or a phone call that's related to that account. 
And I will go ahead and let's just close that appointment. And then also I have my tasks here. So this is a task that um, I created inside of CRM. So you have that synchronization here. Um, this particular entity does not have that Dynamics 365. Um, icon that you can click on here, but this it does sync between CRM and an Outlook. Um, so that's the basic functionality. The one thing that you are missing um, that the full version of the Outlook client has that the the app does not have is the ability to actually navigate you know CRM. So when you have the full version of Outlook installed and you're using that Outlook client, you know right inside of Outlook you can navigate through CRM and and go directly to you know your navigation and all that. You don't have that with the app, so that is kind of the one the one difference. Um, but always for me personally, I, I much prefer using the web version of CRM as opposed to the to the Outlook version. So. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look here at kind of the settings on how we configure this. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, there are a couple of different things that have to be configured for this to work. First of all, you do have to have server-side synchronization set up between CRM and Exchange. Um, so you do have to have you know a configuration that supports that. Um, so here's my CRM demo user that uh, that we're using. This is their mailbox record. Um, so you know it's the basic setup of the mailbox. We do have you can see here for the incoming email, outgoing email and the appointments, contacts, and tasks, those are all set up to use server-side synchronization. Um, so that's really the first step of, of configuring this to work, is just setting up the user's mailbox with server-side synchronization. Um, of course, you have to do the test and enable mailbox and approve the email and, and those things that you normally have to do. Um, once you've done that, however, that user will show up here. This is I'm inside of Dynamics 365 CRM. Just under settings, there is this uh, Dynamics 365 app for Outlook, which brings us into this page, which shows me a list of all of the users who are currently eligible to get the, the uh, CRM app. Um, so I can see the status of this particular user. I can see it was added to Outlook, and I can see that it was enabled for incoming and enabled for activity. So I can see that here. Um, a couple of options that I have, you you can always re-push, so I could um, select the user here and go ahead and click Add the App to Outlook in case it failed or if it's a new user. Um, I have the ability to add the app for all eligible users, so everybody who shows up in this list, if I had multiple users, I could just push that out to all of those users. Um, so again, I don't have to physically touch their, their client computer. Um, it will push it out for me. Um, one of the other options that we have, if I click on this little edit button next to settings, I can check this box here and it will automatically add the app as new users get configured. So you don't have to come back to this page to, to push it out. It can do it automatically for you. A um, couple of other items that it mentions up here at the top is you do need to have, um, um, there is the uh, Dynamics 365 app for Outlook privilege. Um, that has to be configured on their security role, so they do need to have that set up on their security role. Um, you do have to have the server-side sync, which I already mentioned. And it does talk about that it uses um, relevant search, which is one of the newer um, options that you have in CRM. Um, so if you are using the relevant search, you need to make sure that you have accounts, opportunities, cases, contacts, and leads configured for relevance search. Um, but so that's a quick walkthrough of the functionality of the new Dynamics 365 app for Outlook. Thank you.